sa web. Magana na po. Magana na po po sa inyong lahat. Thanks, mom. She was helping me with that. Thank you so much for inviting me here to attend the Cornerstone College of Healthcare and Business Graduation Ceremony. All the new graduates of 2021, you did it. You should all be very proud of yourselves as you are taking on an honorable profession and a role of public trust. Canadians and families are trusting you with their lives. And their loved ones and the responsibility is not one which should be taken lightly. We all went through this pandemic, did we not? Yes, and we saw, and all Canadians saw, the important role that each one of you are going to play as healthcare professionals, personal support workers, and businesses. You are the future. And in my opinion, your roles were always and forever will be essential. So thank you. I also want to congratulate all the families, parents, spouses, children, siblings, aunts, uncles, friends, and grandparents for their role in all of your journey. For many of you graduates, this is not just an achievement alone. Everyone here in this room, in this room who contributed to your success are here to celebrate this important day with each of you. You all achieved this together. Celebrating your graduation is an important step. You know why? Because it acknowledges all of your hard work, dedication, and for most of you, your entry into the professional working world and in the field of your choice. Your choice. I know firsthand how important today is because it makes all of those sleepless nights, virtual group sessions, the repetitive, you're on mute. <laughs> Can you please put yourself on mute? All the reminders, clinical work, and sacrifice. It's all worth it. It was a beautiful and memorable quote from Mark Twain. He stated, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones that you did. So throw the boat lines, sail away from the harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. So what does this quote mean? This quote has a very, very powerful meaning. As I read the quote, I can attest to you that Mark Twain is 100% right. Each one of you are boats. And you're docked here at Cornerstone College. Your teachers, teaching assistants, staff, and volunteers have equipped you with the tools to embark on your life's journey. You've been trained, you've been trained on how to tie a knot, how to maneuver your boat, how to anchor yourself and how to use your life vest and safety equipment, including PPE, masks, and hand sanitization. <laughs> A lot of hand sanitization. <laughs> so today, as you embark on your futures ahead, realize that you are moving ahead into an open sea of your life and to possibility. Now, the open water currents and the tides of the sea will constantly change. This, I promise you. You will go through the calm, still, quiet, serenity of the mundane, day, mundane, day to day times. You will enjoy the sunsets and the beautiful views. And, we all know this, you will experience turbulence, storms, 
and torrential rains. We all have one life to live, just one. And each one of us has a choice on how to live that life. So you can choose to keep your boat docked safely by the harbor, or you can detach your anchor and venture out into the sea and experience what true life is all about. I stand here before you to share that taking risks is so well worth it. Without taking a risk and putting my name on the ballot, I would not be standing here before you today as the first Filipina, as a member of parliament in Canada. The thing that you need to know about taking risks is that you have to be willing to make sacrifices, work really hard, and dedicate your life to your own personal goals. Mark Twain says, catching cravings by the sails. This means that every opportunity that comes your way, take it. Sometimes you only get that one chance, you know what I mean? Seize that opportunity, and if it doesn't, if the opportunity doesn't come, create it, make it, make it your own. Take a chance on yourselves. Say yes. Say yes. 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 Dare to dream. And most importantly, as Fanny has been encouraging you today, believe in yourself. Mark Twain says, explore, dream, and discover. Let life surprise you. This is probably the most important thing. Let you surprise you. What this means is by taking risks and choosing to believe in yourself, you will learn more about yourself and what you're capable of by being open to those opportunities while at sea. And allow yourself to experience life by truly self-discovering. You know, even though I'm standing here and you're all exactly wearing the same hat, same everything, I know that each one of you are individuals. Each one of you are unique and different. Own it. I'm so proud of you. Now, if you're anything like me, then you might have some fear, some self-doubt, and you may encounter people along the way that may make your trip at sea a little difficult. This might happen. I have a hunch. In life, you're going to hear all the opposite messages that you want to hear or need to hear. And I'll be honest with you, these voices and the constant noise will always be there. Always. It's not going anywhere, and it's never going to change. Never. So, the only person that you can control is yourself. So everyone asks me this all the time, how I do. And so here's the secret. To navigate that turbulence, I deliberately turn down the noise, all of it. I turn down the noise and that constant distraction. Most of it, by the way, comes from constant looking at your phone and social media. I know you know what I'm talking about, but I digress. After you turn down that noise, I want you, each of you, to amplify your own voice. Turn it up just a little bit each time. And really think about your own personal internal goals. Think about the passions that you care about, the things that you're driven by. I'm asking you to trust yourself. Trust your gut. Please listen to it. It might seem like really quiet, but I need you to turn up that volume.
listen and hone into the voices of all the people in your life, they're right here, who are by your side supporting you. If you turn around and look at your friends and family around you, yep, you can look at them. Your professors, your teachers, your principals, all of them. They are the ones that you can trust. Your loved ones and those trustworthy people in your life are the ones that you can depend on and lean on. Because it's going to get hard. It's going to get really hard. Life here in Canada is not easy. So you really got to lean into them. And they're going to be there for you. Let them be there for you. They're going to help you open your sails. They're going to fix your engine. They're going to help you catch the wind again when your boat's been struck down. So that you can continue on your journey forward. So, as you begin this next chapter in your lives, I hope that you remember that you are and are full and always have been in charge of your own compass. Your roles are integral, integral to all the people, all the families, and all the Canadians. I have confidence that Cornerstone College has prepared you all to leave this dock. And now you're even more prepared to sail away. Thank you again for having me be a part of this milestone in your lives. I wish you all happiness and success in your future. And finally, my last reminder is to always enjoy the view. Thank you. Thank you.